Hey guys, today we're going to be cropping and saving images specifically for web use in Adobe Photoshop. So the reason you would want to do this is if you have a file that's maybe too big for use online and you need to make it a bit smaller, or if you need a transparent background, we'll be dealing with those types of things in this video. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Photoshop, and I've already got this open, so I will close that. And I'm using Photoshop CS5, so my dialog boxes and menus are gonna look a little bit different than CS2, but you should be able to get the same job done with the crop tool and the save for web menu uh, if you follow along with this video. So I'm going to open up a logo that I did for my friend's baking company. And you might have an AI file or a PDF or something, so I'm just gonna open up the uh, AI and I'm gonna bring that into Photoshop and it's gonna be huge so it doesn't even fit on the screen right now so I'll just make that smaller with the magnifying glass tool here where are you there it is uh, and if I hold the option key it'll zoom out so there it is and it's way too big you can see in inches that it's about 10 inches wide and 3 inches tall so let's have a look and yeah if you go actual pixels it's huge so that's big um, we're gonna zoom back down and it's nice that it has, it has a transparent background so we're gonna play off of that and save it for a file type that also is a transparent background and we're gonna specify the size using the crop tool so we'll go over here to the crop tool we're gonna click that and it looks like if you press C it will also highlight the crop tool so press C there's the crop tool top left in CS5, you get the option to specify the pixel dimensions. So for the theme that my friend needed the logo to be inserted into for WordPress, the WordPress theme asked for a, war a logo that was 800 pixels wide by 300 pixel 340 pixels tall. So if I type that in, which I already have, and then click and drag, it's going to give me that aspect ratio and it's too small for the logo, so I'm gonna keep it going off off the uh, artboard, and I'm gonna hold Shift when I drag up. That'll constrain the movement, get it more centered. I'm now using the arrow keys to fine tune the left and right, get it into a good position, and then when I'm happy, I'm gonna press Enter, and you can see that it shrunk right down without losing a lot of quality. So I'm holding down Command and Spacebar to zoom in. I'm going to zoom right back in. I'm going to have a look. And it's pretty good. Like that is good web quality right there. So let's now save this for web with the transparent background. And this will be really good for insertion into a blog post or even into your blog theme as the main logo. So I'm going up to the top here and you can't see it, but next to the Photoshop icon, there is the file menu, and if I click on that and then scroll down to save for web and devices, you want to get really used to saving images for your website using this option. So when I click that, it opens up a new dialog box, which is kind of scary to begin with, but we're not going to get too worried about it. And the reason why is because from the outset, you might just have original selected. We're going to use two up, so let's click that. And that gives us the original as well as the preview of what we're working with. And by default, it might have GIF selected with a bunch of crazy options. We're almost never going to use GIFs. GIFs aren't very good for uh, most applications. You got to be a little bit specialized to know when to use GIF and when not to. It's more foolproof to use PNG24. So let's just use that. If we go JPEG, we don't get our transparent background. You can see the background turned white here. So let's use PNG24. It's still a nice small file size. You'll see our original file size is one megabyte, which is definitely too big. It's bigger than we want for the website. We want a nice small file size, 47K. That's gonna load a lot quicker. Your website will run faster. So that's great. Everything's all set here that we've changed that to PNG24 and we're going to hit save. 
and that's going to ask me where I want to save it and it looks like this folder is fine that's where I'm putting all my logos and I'll call it web-bff logo dot png and I'm going to save it and now if I hide Photoshop I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to click Photoshop in the dock that hides it and now I'm going to open up the logo that I just created in a web browser just so you can see what it looks like so baking for friends web logo png I'm going to drag that onto my Chrome browser and that opened in a new space let's come back here we go so this is the logo we just created it looks fine in a browser it looks really good and if I drag it everything looks great so this is how you crop and save a PNG image for a website using Adobe Photoshop if this tutorial helped you please uh, hit like and subscribe for more thank you